This is an intermediate and fun workout, primary working all of your legs, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quadriceps. And we're starting as always with a little warm up in plank position, pushing back into down facing dog, lifting your sitting bones and then rolling forward like a wave into that nice wavy plank. So when you push back, you can very well stretch your chest and stretch your hamstrings. And then coming forward, I want you to engage your core, pulling your navel in, narrowing your hip points, rounding your spine, and then pushing the crown of your head forward. And voila, you're in plank position magically. I need you to warm up your spine a little bit because we're going to do some nice adventures in rolling later. And so we need to get that spine and your core warmed up. Another great exercise to get your back softened up and ready to roll is the forward fold. So start in forward fold and then bend your knees rounding your back, lift back into forward fold and then lift onto your toes. This is a bit of a balanced pose. I sometimes like to hold on to something, hold on to a wall or a chair or, or a table, but don't fall because this gives you an extra way to lean backwards, rounding your back and then lifting onto your toes without falling down or losing your balance. If you don't have that, you can go onto your fingertips or put a book under your fingers or anything that you can find to lift your fingers a little bit. So bend the knees, rounding, come back into that stretch, stretching the hamstrings, lifting onto the toes, lifting your sitting bones and then dropping your tailbone back into the floor. And some twisting, of course we will need some. Go into this nice warm up for the legs in a wide squat, lower your hips back and down. The knees and the hips should be on the same level, so sit really low and then bring your hands to your knees and then twist your spine, looking over your shoulder. And when you twist and rotate, exhale, then inhale, come back forward and exhale, turn to the other side. Twisting is always fun because you can check both sides and usually there's a little bit of a difference always. We're not totally symmetric, so twisting to the right might feel a little bit different than twisting to the left and that's totally fine. So don't judge it, just recognize that both sides are twins but not equal great and just to get the cardio up and running we're going to do some butt kicks you can do them fairly easily you don't have to challenge yourself too much this is not the main point of this one we want to explore a lot of movement Pick your heels up, jump from one take leg to the other. So your heels want to touch your butt, your heels want to touch your hips. And the faster you go, the more you work it on your hamstrings. And hamstrings are fantastic to work on. They protect our knees. They're great for jumping and running and going fast forward. And we do need to jump a lot. So try to keep those knees down and parallel to each other. The thighs should be aligned with each other the whole, the whole time. And get those arms moving. These arms are really helping you to get this float, to lift up from the ground, give you a little bit of momentum and lift. So it's easier for you to do these jumping from side to side, butt kicks. And here we go, have a little breather before we attack the main course. Le plat de résistance. So just do some side lunge stretches. Keep your feet triple times your hip high, hip uh, width, uh, or whatever feels comfortable for you. You can either have your hands on uh, the top of your thighs, or you can have one hand on the ground, one hand in your groin, or if you feel comfortable, you can also have both hands on the floor. Um, this will change a little bit the degree of flexion and also where your adductors, the inside of your legs are gonna be stretched. So as a rule of thumb, always try to stretch where it's least easy. So what's hardest for you is usually where you need a little bit more stretching. So explore these different options for you. And here we go. So this is a fun roll back and then come up into squat and maybe stand up, but you don't have to. So the main purpose is to train your body for this new movement of sitting down with a rounded back, rolling backwards, not too much onto your head, but stop with your shoulders. You see me 
that I'm breaking with my own hand. So bring those elbows up, bring the hands onto the ground, stopping the movement before you get too much weight onto your head and your cervical. So stop the movement, roll back, round your back, and then try to come onto your feet into squat position. And this is the, the challenge for now. And try to do these as much as possible because we will need this movement. And if you can stand up, into standing position and then squat back down, that's fine. If you're having a hard time simply getting into the squat, that's also okay. I'm gonna give you a second chance later with this. But first, we're gonna warm up these squats a little bit. These are low lunge switches. So I want you to squat down and without lifting too much, step back into a lunge position and then go right back into that squat position. So this is increasing the time under tension on your legs, on your quadriceps and your glutes primarily. So the lower you can stay, like in this little duck duck position, like oink oink, um, the more tension, the more time under tension you will have on your muscles. And the more you stand up in between the exercises, the less time under tension you will have. So try to get as low as possible, always making sure you have big angles for your knees, 90 degrees is perfect, both in the squat and in the lunge. Again, you got a second chance later, two runs. And here we have a three step sideways drill. This is great for your coordination. So what I would like you to do is to one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's three steps, a little bit like a um, Latino dance. And the middle knee, the knee in the middle, is lifting a little bit. And this helps you to keep the movement. So lift, 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 and we step, 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 step. It's out, 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 out the inner knee, 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 knee comes up. If you don't get it from the beginning, don't worry. At some point during the night, you will wake up and you go, now I get it. <laughs> the arms are moving with you, of course, contralaterally. So when the knee comes forward, the elbow is forward. Fantastic, nice rotation. And here we go, another little challenge for you. I love this one. We're starting in a crab position with a, it's a reverse plank. So we're having our hands, our fingers, pointing towards our shoes or feet. And then bring the hips up and then kick up with one leg, bring the hips down. When you push yourself back up, bring the foot down. So it's kicking up, heel drops, kicking up, hip drops, kicking up, hip drops, kicking up, hip drops at the same time. And your elbows, they do need to bend a little bit when you're dropping, otherwise your shoulders are simply gonna come forward. So keep the chest open, shoulders are wide. That means your collarbones wanna be smiling. I love that, collarbones keep smiling. And then drop the hips, kick, drop the hips, kick. Wonderful, see, that's a fun one. <laughs> And we're gonna do plenty of those in this cardio workout series, so be ready, be prepared. <laughs> the higher the numbers in this cardio workout, the more advanced we're getting. So this is number five, and we're gonna advance to higher numbers soon. First of all, get a little bit of a breather, round your back, get nice and comfy in that forward fold. It's nice just to do some little stretching. Hamstrings primarily here, but also a little bit of our calves are gonna get stretched. And since you're fully warmed up by now, you can have a little bit more of a stretch here. Means try to straighten your legs by pushing the heels into the ground and lifting the sitting bones. And then bend the knees again, round the back, trying to drop the tailbone to the floor. All right, here we go. Roll back into squat, second try. Make sure you have a soft padding. If not, pause the video, get some soft padding. Now, sit down onto your heels, round your back and drop backwards, but stop with your hands before you're reaching your cervicals. You're landing on your shoulders. Now these arms are in, elbows are pointing up and your fingers are pointing towards your feet. Do this very slow in the beginning and then you can try to speed up slightly. So squatting down, rounding, then picking the elbows up, stop, rounding back, coming onto your feet and squat or stand up. And again, rounding, 
stopping before you get into your cervicals and then standing back up. Wonderful, this is great. You're gonna dream of this, I'm pretty sure of that. <laughs> Love it. Let me know how you did. Drop some comments below how you loved this one, how you liked it. And there's gonna be some progression coming very soon. Our duck switch lunges in low squat position, stepping backwards, here we go. Stepping back into low lunge, knees are 90 degrees. That means you're keeping a, a, a big angle between the shins and the thighs. So we want to protect our knees a little bit. The bigger the angle, the less pressure we have on our knees. And the lower you're staying, the more your legs need to work. Fantastic. So this is great for creating our strength. And if you want to get faster, you're working on this explosiveness of being able to jump or run uh, faster. Perfect. Oh my God, you hope this would not be coming again, but here we go, try it again. So start with the feet parallel and then simply step out one, two, three, one, two, three. It's like a, a rhythm, like a Latino rhythm. Um, and the three steps allow you to switch leg every time. So it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And the knee raise in the middle is super important. If you forget the knee raise, there's no three step because the knee is like the four step. Now I'm confusing you. Just watch the video. Step out, step out, step out, step out. And the knee, knee, knee comes in the middle. You're doing wonderful. That's fantastic. It's great for your coordination to do different things every now and then. It makes your brain work. And here we go. This is great working your back and the arms. So we're doing like little triceps dips here. Start in crack position and then try to kick your own head, but don't do it. Just kick in the air, kick in the air, kick in the air. Raise your foot, raise your foot, raise your foot. And it's a bit easier and it also looks better. If you're bringing the hip up, bring the hip down. Hip move quite a lot here. And this also works our glutes and our hamstrings really nicely. And later on in the series, we're gonna try and do those jumpings. Those are kickbacks. I learned those in hip hop classes. I'm sure you've seen that all over the world. Uh, in hip hop, it's great, it's fantastic. You can do that at the next party, you'll be the star. Whew. You made it, first series is done. Now we have a smaller second series, more focusing here on the plank and the legs. So roll forward into your plank position and then shift back into that downward facing dog. And the arms need to work here a little bit, especially when you're pressing back into that downward facing dog. We're walking, we're working our back muscles here. So that's a great exercise to balance front and back since we're not working with any equipment here. This is all no equipment workout. You don't need anything, you just need a floor. And so we do have to work a little bit on our back. So really press into your hands when you're pressing back into that downward facing dog and engage your shoulder girdle, engage your back muscles. Great. Let's do some regular squats just for a game changer. And regular squats are great because they're working on the whole leg. Everything is involved here and you can really focus on going low. You don't need to go that fast. I would rather have you to do a very clean squat with your knees pointing towards your second and third toe. Your feet look down on your feet and see if these feet are pointing outwards, like a few degrees outwards. So that's really comfortable for you to bring the knees then in the direction of your feet. Your, sh your feet should never flare in going together like X legs or flare out too much like bow legs. Then bring those hips down and back and come back up again. That's fantastic, great. Here we go. This is just for you so you really get comfortable with that movement. And we're trying to do the three steps a little bit faster this time. So start with your feet, 
parallel and just step out and in, step out and in, step out and in, step out and in. You really can count in your head one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And the one and the three is where the leg goes out, 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 out. I'm sure you have it by now. If you don't have it, don't worry at all about it you will just get it at some point like this and you'll go like oh my god this is super easy and so much fun and in the progression of this exercise we're going to try to go a bit faster and picking the knee up a little bit higher but that's it for now wonderful last two exercises to come and then we're up to some nice stretching so again go back into your regular squats so nice feet position feet are hip width apart or slightly larger and then turn your toes out a few degrees with the knees then pointing towards your second and third toe when you're squatting the hips shift back so that the knees do not need to come forward too much and if you can try to drop your hips knee height so that you can really go full range of motion we're trying to work on the flexibility even of our ankles here so the ankle joint even needs to work in these squats arms go forward when you go down and backwards when you come up forward and backwards really easy well last one last challenge so try to rock these i know you got it by now and you love those by now so the challenge is can you do the steps a little bit bigger if you have the space can you get the arms movement in as if you would want to touch with your elbow the knee knee and elbow touch this is a little bit of a drill for you and the last exercise so knee comes up knee comes up knee comes up knee comes up and step 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 stay upright gaze forward eyes always soft and look into the horizon have a determined look on your face or a smile whatever you like try to relax the shoulders and keep them swinging keep the arms swinging swing wonderful just four more seconds keep breathing keep the rhythm that's amazing i love it you've you did it so let's have a nice little stretch quadriceps first because we worked it a lot grab your right foot and pull it to your hips stay in a balanced position on your left leg now lift your chest and you can either grab your foot with both hands or just with one just make sure that you're not shifting the foot too much to the middle but keep the foot on the right side then bring your hips forward contracting your glutes slightly and try to keep those thighs parallel so that the knees stay on the same level otherwise it's not really a stretch and the more you're pushing your hips forward the more you're gonna feel your hip flexors and also here you're gonna feel a difference between right and left so memorize a quick snapshot how this felt on this side and then switch on to the other side grabbing your left foot pulling your heel towards your hips either with one hand or with two and again balance on your right foot balance pose is always easier when you're gazing far onto a fixed point so your eyes are fixing um, one point that doesn't move and that should uh, give your system enough stability to stay on a balanced pose and now compare the two sides which side is maybe easier which is more difficult what leg bends better where do you feel some tension and that's the side that's gonna need a little bit of work that feels more tense or more tight or doesn't bend that much or you can't shift the hips that much forward try to contract the glutes here shifting the hips forward so that gives you a little bit of a clue what needs work all right last exercise you're going to be lying down grab something if you need to lie on something maybe something soft and then come lying onto your back into that hamstring stretch grabbing your right foot shin calf knee whatever you can you can bend the left knee at first then pull the leg towards you first relaxing the right foot 
and then why not flex the right foot a little bit try to keep the arch in your lower back your lower back should not be touching the floor that way we can strengthen the lower back all the while we're stretching the hamstrings we don't want to get all soft and fluffy we do need a little bit of strength in our lower back even if we're stretching great and change position you can first bend the right knee then grab your left foot and the left foot can stay soft to begin with you know you don't need to push the heel into the sky first bring the shin the thigh a little bit closer to you so grabbing the left foot pulling it slightly closer to you and then you can slide out the right leg and push the right heel away from you on the floor and then maybe even push the, the left heel which is in the air left leg is in the air so push the left heel up in the air creating a little bit more stretch probably in those calves you're gonna feel those remember your lower back don't push the lower back onto the ground keep it slightly lifted slight arch in the lower back so that we keep strengthening our back which needs it fantastic and relax that's it for now i hope you enjoyed it so much fun all these exercises are gonna prepare us for what's coming next and i'm so looking forward to it and i hope you too so see you all there bye